That ball gets away. Play at the plate and save at the plate. And Castellano words with Jake Woodford. And here we go. is all over it. 21. Now the emotions are real right here. You see the hard tag by uh, by Woodford coming in making the play, but Castellanos in his face. Jake Woodford's not taking it. Yachty ain't taking it. And it seemed like Castellanos wanted nothing to do with this except for to pop off in the beginning. You could see this coming, too, as he was going to try to score. You could for sure. And look, I, I understand Nicholas Castellanos. He's upset he got plunked. He got hit hard. And then Jake Woodford comes in on the tag and lays a knee on him, not intentional, trying to make a play. But I don't think anybody worth, you know, anything is going to have uh, somebody yell in their face. Well, you don't like seeing bench clearing situations. It, it looks like we got something going again. And this is out towards the middle of the field that's Jordan Hicks Were you given an explanation as why you were ejected? Uh, no. They, David just said that, hey, you got rung up. I said, for what? And he said, uh, he, David really didn't give me a clear answer. And then he just said, hey, but if you go out there, then don't give him a reason to give you more games or whatever. And, I, you know, I care about winning ball games. That's pretty much it, you know, so... It is what it is. They're not going to uneject me, so I just took it into the clubhouse. Is that just a spur of the moment reaction and a, a testament to the type of player you are and the intensity that you play with? I mean, look, yo, like I wore 93 in the ribs. That don't exactly feel good, you know. I asked Yachty if it was an accident. He said, "Of course it's an accident." All right, Yachty's, dude, Yachty's a boss, yo. Like, all right, I give him the benefit of the doubt, you know. All right, it's an accident. Take my stuff off. I even asked the pitcher if he wanted the ball back. You know, just out of sometimes pitchers, he's coasting. I don't know. There, I go to first. And the only thing I'm thinking about doing is scoring. Thank you, Nick. Yeah. Nick, do you think you, you got plunked at all because of the home run you hit the other day and, and the and the backflip? I mean, it's possible, you know. I'm swinging it good right now. I feel good. There's two outs. There's nobody on. Hey, let's try to shake him up a little bit, get him off his game. I know how it works, man. You know, like it's baseball. Well, I'm not, I'm not out here, you know, complaining about it. The only thing I could do is just do everything I can to score. Wainwright said he said you offering the ball was tired. Did you feel like that was disrespectful or anything to the pitcher? I don't know how the pitcher took it, man. In the moment, I just saw the ball and my, I just decided to offer it to him. If Wainwright says he's tired, all right, man. I, he has a right to say that. I got nothing but respect for that dude either. He's a Hall of Famer. You've described your competitiveness. Is that something you've had since you started playing baseball, or is that something that you've kind of built on during your career? I'd say this, the more secure I become as a man and who I am, the more of my raw emotions come out on the field, you know? And... I'm not out here to disrespect nobody or whatever, but I want to win, you know. I've lost my whole career, and I ain't trying to start this season 0-2. Nick, how encouraged are you by the 15 runs in the first two games and just how well the team is hitting? I mean, hitting's contagious, and we're having fun, and we're becoming, you know, boys with each other. And that's step one of a good team, you know, is genuine love 
and support for for the person for your for your guy beside you.